Every day, it seems another story about state-sanctioned violence against black and brown people hits the news. And while the Black Lives Matter movement is working to raise awareness about racial injustice, nowhere is that inequity more apparent than in our nation's schools. Public school austerity, like police brutality, is another form of racist state violence. Driven in part by the much celebrated school reform movement, it assaults these students' central community institutions, crams them into over-policed schools, and reduces their education to preparation for the low-wage workforce rather than democratic self-determination. Black children are almost four times as likely to be suspended from schools than their white counterparts, even when their infractions are the same, and over two-thirds of students referred to police by schools are either black or Hispanic. Lacking resources, facing incentives to push out low-performing students, and responding to a handful of highly publicized school shootings, schools have embraced zero-tolerance policies that automatically impose severe punishment regardless of circumstances. But not teachers everywhere are speaking out against the institutional racism that pervades education policy. In Seattle, over 2,000 educators wore Black Lives Matter t-shirts to demand racial equity in their schools. It's also important to understand that for black lives to matter, black education has to matter. This movement is also broader than police accountability. In a school system as dramatically unequal as ours, it's incumbent upon educators and families to stand up and say something about this. Education activists are calling for lawmakers to end the destructive test score focused policies that have children as young as eight being labeled as failures and that are driving segregation to levels higher than they were in 1954 when the Supreme Court ruled that separate is inherently unequal. The coalition's proposals range from calling for a constitutional amendment for fully funded education and a moratorium on charter schools to the removal of police from schools and the closure of all juvenile detention centers. Teachers all around the country are following Seattle's lead and organizing protests in their own districts with the hopes of empowering their students to create new systems that finally bring equity to education policy. If you found the information in this video helpful, go ahead and share it with a friend. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button so you can find us again next week.